so we're gonna do a two week update thanks to subscriber Joyce for making the suggestion of doing kind of an update to see exactly where the cleanup stages are here on uh, Orchard Island and I am going to go in as far as I can to Lakeview um, I'm not sure if they have any roads open back there yet but we will try to get back there uh, the damage is pretty bad over there in the city of Lakeview not that it wasn't bad here on the island because it was it's just much more widespread um, in Lakeview unfortunately you can also try it or, or not Orchard Island we're on Orchard Island Waterbury because uh, they had some damage back by Dunn's Pond also so of course mad props to all the first responders and the electric gas and internet companies because we had electricity back within three days internet back within five days and the gas was turned back on a couple of days ago so they did an amazing job of getting things back up and running up here towards the front of the island as you can see this is where a lot of the damage was they've cleaned up so much stuff um, there used to be houses all through here and as you can see they are now all gone um, wow every trailer has gone down through here turn down the street Yep, they're all gone. They've cleaned most of them up. You can see the dumpsters over there. Spend a day still pretty messed up. Not sure when they'll be back up and running. I am going to go around here to Fox Island and show you Fox Island real quick. See they've got all this pretty much cleaned up. All the new electrical poles are up. Open. Oh, emergency and authorized vehicles only. So we probably shouldn't be back here. So we're going to turn around. But you can see back there it's pretty messed up. is definitely going to need replaced. There's still a branch up there on the roof. Unfortunately, they are now saying that um, you're not going to be able to come here for the total 100% coverage solar eclipse because the lake's going to be closed. There's a lot of debris that blew into the lake. It's really windy today. Um, and they're having to clean it out. Um, it's taken a while because there's just there's stuff I'm sure that's under the surface that unfortunately boaters are probably going to hit this summer while boating which is really unfortunate I mean it happens but just be careful if you do come out and you're boating know that there could be who knows what underneath the water because this lake is not very deep so you can 
definitely hit stumps and tree limbs and branches and entire trees and I mean for all I know somebody's roofs in the lake. We're gonna come off the island here and try to go down by lake view. Like I said, I'm not sure we'll be able to get down there. We have had most of the roads closed so you couldn't access the area. But they have done quite a bit of cleanup, so it is really windy today. We're supposed to get some more thunderstorms tonight, but there's they're not saying anything about tornadoes or anything along those lines, so trucks that's what's in front of me to remove debris because there is a lot of debris a lot a lot a lot you can still see there's just still people picking up things and put them in piles and that's just a citizen I guess putting stuff in a little pile there the community has really come together here. A lot of these places, like this place right here, Lulu's, they have a sign right there, free meals and supplies at Lulu's. Um, they have a tent back there. The news is there currently. Uh, a lot of the churches in the area are like rescue centers. If you don't have anywhere to stay, if you need food, if you need clothes, if you need water. Um, I know the high school was also doing um, some stuff where they had food and water and clothes and were able to provide shelter to some people and things along those lines so definitely utilize those resources if you need them let's see if this road down here is open I see road closed signs but they're blown over because the wind is so bad laying in pieces on the side of the road and it's not like it even I mean it broke a lot of the telephone poles but it's like it shattered them into like a million pieces there's a bunch of tree people down that road there cleaning up more trees you can still see metal in the trees this house there used to have a roof on it. It no longer does. There's so many people that come from the community to help cleaning up the, the debris out of the lake and help cleaning up debris in the neighborhoods, trying to help people find, you know, their belongings and stuff just from their houses that were completely destroyed. County truck full of trees. Looks like this road is open now. It is okay. So we'll be able to see down into the area that got hit really bad. It's gonna be off to the left. So down in that little valley there, where you see some trailers still standing, um, most of them are gone though. They got hit really, really hard down here in this little neighborhood. This is called like the Midway area of uh, Indian Lake, Lake the Ohio. Wow, there are a lot of trailers gone. Wow. There's still stuff strung through the trees. This whole neighborhood down here was pretty much decimated. The, the only good thing about the time that this tornado hit, now 
not that it's anything good about it at all. Wow, it's really bad right there. Holy crap. Um, it hit when it's not summertime. Indian Lake and Lakeview, Ohio is a summertime community. The population is ridiculous in the summertime. There are not a ton of year-round residents that live in this area. Um, the ones that do, I, I, I'm not going to spit out a number because I don't know exact numbers as to how many people live in this area, but most of the homes in areas that were hit were summertime like areas you'll see lakeview here is completely destroyed you can see across the street over there it's just a pile of rubble where that building used to be i absolutely despise this intersection go up and around and back down 33 this whole little neighborhood right here is just wow a lot of houses gone a lot of stuff still in the trees but they have cleaned up a lot but there's still a lot to be done turn the camera the other way so you guys can see this side of the street because it's bad over here. Oh, I turned it too far. Just complete and utter devastation like a bomb went off. Red Cross buses down there. We're gonna go down by the grocery store and the hardware store. Um, apparently, from what I understand, you see these little villas right here, the ones stacked on top of the other. The Mexican restaurant here on the other side of the street is pretty messed up. There used to be houses and trailers all through right there. Look at that billboard. 
that used to be a huge massive billboard just folded up on the ground. When I get down here I'm going to flip around and come back the other direction so we can get a view, a ground view of this side of the other side of the street um, because there's significant damage done to the other side of the street as well. side of the street here and maybe turn down into uh, Lakeview itself in our little heart of the city down there because they suffered quite a bit of damage too. start seeing the damage and then it just gets really bad from here up. Houses are still standing. A lot of there's a lot of damage to that roof, and you can see right over here. Drive up this way. This house is basically the roof is just on the ground for the most part. I don't know if that was a house or it looks like it was a garage of some sort. There's a car in there smashed giant tree there uprooted. And nothing looks too horrible down from here. There's a giant debris pile. They're using the baseball fields. There's some more tornado relief if you need it. Indian Lake Baptist right there. It's right in Lakeview. Houses look pretty much untouched, and like I said, it's just crazy that just a few feet, a matter of a few feet, can make a difference as to whether or not you completely lost your house or if you were fine. I'll end up there guys um, I'll come back in another week or so and update with you um, the progress
Thanks for watching, guys, and please support Indian Lake.